Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Where there have been many reports swirling of another, a third ass assassination attempt on Donald Trump. What's really going on here? What's really going on? Now we know many years ago, they had that prediction from the Simpsons, right? And in that prediction, they were saying that someone was going to assassinate this man. But here lately, there's been a lot of talk of this. Now, some people call that predictive programming. Uh, some people say it's them telling us what they have planned, right? So anyway, let's get into this. Was there a third attempt on him? Was there? Let's take a look. Let's get into this. We're going to get into this because apparently um, this has been swirling for a number of different reasons. We saw the first attempt where there was a little nick on his ear. And a lot of people are saying a nick on the ear from such a powerful weapon, just a nick on the ear. So there were some questions uh, surrounding that first as as a nation attempt. There were some questions concerning that. A lot of people are wondering, how can you only get a nick from something so significant, right? And then there was the second one uh, where the guy didn't get a chance to do anything, but uh, Secret Service swooped in and did what they had to do. So we know we have the Simpsons prediction saying that something was gonna happen, right? Okay. Now we know that this particular uh, presidential run is very strange. We have a somewhat semi-black woman who is uh, the Democratic face <laughs> that they have selected for us to choose between the two. And then we have Donald Trump. Um, out of all of the Republicans in the United States of America, you have Donald Trump, nobody else, right? So it, I feel like we're witnessing some type of show or some shenanigans or some type of whatever. And people are going out of their minds for their candidate, especially uh, for those who favor Donald Trump. I mean, these people will come at you tooth and nail over that man, right? And then you have people pretending like uh, Kamala Harris um, is a black woman who is going to be the best thing since sliced bread for the black community. All of this delusion going around with who these people are and what they represent right? And so, of course, it makes you wonder what's really going on with these ass-ass-a-nation attempts on this man, and if they are really, really true attempts on him. That's what it makes me wonder. I don't know about you, but I have some questions. Something is not adding up, right? How are these people allowed to get so close to this man and do the things that they're doing? All of the reports that people are putting out and uh, what some people have said, those who were around or near these attempts, um, people have said, uh, you know, they, they noticed things early on. And, you know, nobody was acting or moving accordingly. Are they putting on a show for the American people? Are they trying to hype up Donald Trump's base to make them think that they have to start doing this, that, and the third ahead of time before the election? Anyway, let me tell you uh, what they are really saying about this so-called ass-assination attempt, okay? Let me show you what they're really saying about this because people have been saying this, but according to reports, it is not the case at all, right? Now, right here it says, these are false reports of explosives found in a car near a Trump rally, and they quickly spread online. So they're saying that this isn't even real, but it circulated, it hit the internet and it circulated fast. It says law enforcement officials on Long Island worked quickly on Wednesday to publicly knock down social media posts, falsely reporting that explosives have been found in a car near former President Donald Trump, Trump's planned rally in New York. It says the false reports of an explosive began circulating hours before the Republican presidential nominee's campaign 
event at Nassau Coliseum in Uniondale, just days after he was apparently the target of a second possible ass assassination attempt. Nassau County uh, Police, uh, Commissioner Patrick Ryder said, um, police questioned and detained a person who may have been training a bomb detection dog near the site of the rally and falsely reported explosives found being or explosives being found. So they're saying that this is not what people think it is, right? Um, it says this lieutenant, a spokesperson for the county police said in a follow-up message uh, that the person who police have not yet identified was a civilian and not a member of law enforcement agency. He also said the person was not working at or affiliated with the event, uh, which is expected to draw thousands of Trump supporters to the arena that was formerly the home of NHL's New York Islanders. Okay. So they are saying that this is a false report, but it quickly hit, hit the internet and was spreading very fast. But again, this was something that the Simpsons put out there. It makes you wonder, do they put these things out there because they heard it through the grapevine that this is what they want to do? Is this what's going on, y'all? Is this why the Simpsons predict the things that they predict? But you know what, though? Some people are saying that I've heard reports that that wasn't an actual episode. But then I heard other reports of people who saying, yes, it was an actual episode and they saw it themselves. So it reminds me of this whole Mandela effect thing. What is going on on this planet? It seems like something is crossing over in the universe, if you know what I mean, because there are some very, very strange happenings going on, right? Especially surrounding this particular uh, presidential run. Whatever the case, the Most High is having his way, y'all. The Bible says that he has his way in the heavens above and the earth below. Who can stay his hand and say, what doest thou? The Most High knows exactly what's going on. He knows who's going to sit in that seat of president before we do, because this is something he ordains. He said, the powers that be are of Yah, right? We can, we can vote. We can do all these things and say what we want to say. We can believe what we want to believe about all of these politicians. But at the end of the day, the Most High is having his way. All of these people are wicked. I don't care how you try to put your stamp of, stamp of approval on them, how you try to endorse them as some type of moral authority in anything. Um, everybody has something that they have to say about these politicians, but these people are not for us. They are not for us. I don't care if it's a Republican or a Democrat. They are not for us, especially so-called black people. They are for the rich. That's who they are for right so anyway i am done with this video share your thoughts on this you know alleged third attempt which turns out to be another false circulation on the internet to hype up what what are you trying to hype up share your thoughts in the comment section below as always keep it tight and keep it right but until the next live or the next video stay prayed up we hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel, and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.